Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a trying new makeup, ton of new products that I want to put on my face this moment. I got the new products from Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's brand, which is the main focus of this video. I cannot wait to play around with those. New brushes from Sephora. I'm going to do a foundation combo I've heard a lot of people talk about, mixing two NARS foundations for you guys to test it out on camera and see. Then I have these lashes that are supposed to be water activated and you just pop them on your eyes, false lashes, which I'm super excited about. So we have a ton of really cool things in this video. And without further ado, we're gonna get started because I want to put this all on my face. So I did get this set from Sephora in the mail. I love the design of these brushes. How cute are they for the holiday season? So they do have a foundation brush, which I'm going to be using to mix my foundation combo. I was hearing a couple people talk about to mix two NARS foundations together. And since I don't have a new foundation, I thought this would be a cool idea to do. So we're gonna first start off by prepping my face. And I have been obsessed with this Osmosis Luminous Treatment Primer and Highlighter. I've been using it as a primer. It is absolutely gorgeous. This makes your face glow. But besides how it makes your face look, it makes my skin so smooth. So you can see just touching my face, it turns red, but when it all settles down, it gives the most beautiful glow and finish. And then another primer I have been loving is from Paracone MD. And this is a pore smoothing primer. This is their No Makeup Instant Blur. And this combo has been my go-to for a flawless base. And I like this because it's thinner than Tatcha and Tarte the Clean Slate Timeless Primer, which I love. It feels better on my skin. I don't have to use so much. So it really does a great job at smoothing with little product and just a much thinner layer under my makeup, which I much prefer. So things don't get too cakey. I just put that in my T-zone. A Little bit will do. And then for foundation, I love these two separately, but I kept hearing people talk about mixing them together and it becomes like the perfect combo because this one is matte and this is the natural radiant one. So together it's kind of in between, which sounds perfect to me. I use the shade M3.5, which is Vanuatu. And you can actually tell in these two foundations that the shades are different. So this is the soft matte and that is the radiant. I much prefer the tone of the radiant. You can see like, that color matches my skin perfectly for this one. And the matte is just slightly different. So I'm just going to make a little cocktail of the two. We're gonna see how this works. Vanuatu is one of my best matches out there for foundations. I used to use Stromboli and Barcelona depending. But if you have a more neutral undertone like me, Vanuatu is way, way better for us. Whoever said to mix these two foundations is onto something. It's a really beautiful finish. We'll see how it dries down right now. It still has a more luminous glow. It's not as matte as just the soft matte. It's actually slightly light for me right now, but the undertone is fine. So with bronzing, it will work. Undertone is much more important than depth. You can work with it being slightly lighter like that. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath Labs. I hear everyone rave about this. I haven't given it too much of a chance though, just because I'm LM8 is the one I got. And I think it, it's just a little too yellow for my preference. But I'm gonna use it today and see how it goes. I love the packaging on this and the formula is nice. I just think I picked up the wrong color. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the one size powder and put that underneath my eyes. I do have another new powder because I already used this in a tutorial before. I'm just gonna use this one underneath my eyes because this is the best powder for setting my concealer. It doesn't make my underlie look crepey at all. Just did a little bit of cream bronzing off camera using my Fenty Beauty Teddy, which I absolutely love. Just to get the color right of my skin, I felt like I needed to bring that back. I haven't set my skin yet. We're gonna actually go ahead and just let that hang out for a second. Work on the eyes and then we're gonna come back, finish up the face and lips. That's kind of how I want to work it because I just don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyes. So I don't know how to finish the face <laughs> quite yet. This is the Vive Essential Palette. I've been dying to put this on my eyes and you guys know my love for black and gold. So the aesthetic of this brand is just totally up my alley. I love Jamie's makeup style. So I was very happy to see that she came out with the brand. And the only thing that I would have liked about her launch is that 
she put up swatches prior to the launch because I honestly would have bought more if she had the swatches up because I just didn't know what colors I wanted to buy. Here is the palette. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Look at her and all her beauty. And I love that you can fold it back. It has the mirror on the back. The packaging feels like a nice weight. It has this texture, faux leather quality to it with the gold plating that says Vive. Just absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna grab an Anastasia palette just to show you the size. Here is the Vive palette versus the Soft Glam palette. Felt like that would be kind of a good comparison in case you guys have an Anastasia palette at home. It's very, very big. I'm going to set my eyelid area with So Shy just ever so lightly. And her products did take a little while to get to me. I live in Canada in case you guys are curious and I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the packaging later because you might have seen in my thumbnail a broken product. But we're gonna focus on the eyeshadow palette first. And that's a really pretty all over color. Kind of like always setting my lid with something like that. And then I'm gonna use this larger shadow brush from Sephora brand and I'm gonna dip into buff. It's like my perfect transitional color. You guys know I love this kind of tone. I'm gonna do it on the outer half. Start there and just lightly blend it in. I don't wanna do anything too heavy today, I don't think. I feel like a lot of people have done really grungy looks with this, which is perfect to do. I just wanna play around with as many shades as I can and make it kind of a light look. And I just like to wing out my eyeshadow lately, like kind of a lot. So far the couple matte shades I've used are really nice. No complaints in those. And then I'm going to go ahead with, where are we? Direction. I'm gonna go in with Chow. Tones like this sometimes can make me look a little bit ill, but I'm going to do this lightly in the inner part of my eye. This has a ton of pigment, a lot of color there, and I'm just gonna blend it into that shade we already put down, the buff. And I'm using this eyeshadow brush. I don't know if they're marketing as a lid shade, but it's so fluffy. This is definitely like another crease brush. I don't feel like there's any packing lid brushes in this set, just an FYI, in case you're looking for like a, a packing eyeshadow brush. They're all more blending in my opinion. I do wanna cut the crease I think a little bit. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape just to quickly do this because I don't wanna pack on these shimmers. I just wanna do it lightly and see how that works initially. Then this brush is a Smith 302, which I feel like is perfect because it's slightly rounded. It's a perfect little crease brush for me. This is a BH7 from the Nazanin Kavari brush collection. And I'm going to start off with a little bit of carrot right here. And I am going to spray my brush first because what is going on? I will be spraying my brush first just because why did that break? Oh, I'm trying a new setting spray and I'm trying to use it for uh, wetting my brush and it's not working. Things are coming off. You're gonna see. I'll talk about that at the end. It smells different. All right, back to the palette. I'm gonna take some carrot. I don't find anything's really picking up on the brush. Hmm. This is going to work for kind of what I wanted to do today, but I definitely, it's just not picking up as much. I think these are the type of shades that you need to use your finger with. That would just work better. So it's a little bit flaky and I just wanted a light bit just to have some reflect, but I don't want it to be overly packed on there. You can see right there about it being a little bit flaky. It's really pretty though. Just for a little something in the center of my lid. I'm gonna go in with Glimmer, with my broken spray that you'll be seeing. Like, what, it did it again. There goes the top, trying new makeup. So I love how this looks. If I did some liner and lashes, this would be perfect for me. I am going to just play around with more colors though, cause I feel like I should. So I'm gonna start off with Cozy. Very beautiful. And I'm just gonna gradually deepen up the outer corner and lash line. I really love the mattes in here. And this is a Refer 13 brush. Then I have this angled brush from that Sephora kit. I love the handles on this. 
so nice. I'm going to mix delicious and good night so it's not too black and just go really close to my lash line. A little bit of fallout there. I find that always with really rough bristles like this though. If I used a different brush, I don't think it would have been as bad to be honest. So that is it for the eyeshadow right now. I just wanted to do something really light because I've seen a lot of grungy looks using the palette. So I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And then I have these really cool water activated lashes that I have never tried before. So this is going to be something new for me. Have you seen these? Like this will be so cool because my eyes get irritated from glue, even latex free. Like I just have a sensitivity to glue. So we will see how these work. But I feel like it's going to be like a one and done sort of situation. Like once you use it once, you won't be able to activate it again. But I've never used them before, so I have no idea. So we're going to try it and see how these go. And worst case, I can always glue them on, but I hope they work. No adhesive needed, dip and apply. My cousin picked these up. She's a hairstylist and she went to one of the stores that she can pick up stuff cheap and she found these for me. Thank you so much, Holly, for picking these up. I cannot wait to try these. Sounds easy enough, but let me just read this for a second before I mess anything up. Immerse lash band in warm water for 10 to 15 seconds. Sounds easy enough. Warm water needed. We have to measure these to my eye. These do come with an excessive amount of outer and inner band so you definitely need to cut these oh that's awesome so that outer that outer and inner band you can see it right there that's the only part that has glue to stick the lash to the container which is awesome because sometimes this glue irritates my eyes on lashes so i've been having an issue with that so if the whole band doesn't have that that's gonna be fantastic for my sensitive eyes. I'm so glad they thought of that because I was curious like how they would have glued these into the case. So that's with not cutting it at all, how it fits my eye. Kind of like it. I don't have it glued on yet, don't worry. I'm just testing the fit. Do I need to cut it? It fits pretty good, but just to be on the safe side, because I do not want it irritating my eye, I'm gonna cut off the very outer, little bit of it. This is the style 343. Three. So I'm just gonna fill up the back of this tray with warm water. Dipping these bad boys in. It's weird because, okay, issue one is that since it has a bend, like the lashes are gonna get wet. So the base of the lash does get wet because they're already curved. These are gonna look wet going on. I don't get it. In theory, this is a good idea, but I don't know. That is relatively easy. So I need to find a spot in this where I can dip it so that when the middle part touches the water, it doesn't get wet on the base of the lashes. That's the only issue that I'm current. I'm currently having right now. This one worked a little bit better. Like these were honestly really easy to apply. Still need to pinch them together to get it more close to my own lashes. We'll see how long they wear, but right now, very interesting. Pretty cool, like, I know there was instances when I'd go out or on a trip or hotel or something with friends and I'd forget glue, but if you could pick up lashes and not have to buy glue again, that would be so awesome too. And I love the style of these ones. Holly did good. Thank you. These look so good. What do you guys think? Do you think they look good? Did you see them go on well? Like, what are your thoughts? Have you tried water activated lashes? I wonder how long these will stick and I wonder if this will irritate my lash line. We will find out. Oh, Vive, how can I lose that big, oh, there it is. <laughs> Thought I lost the palette. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that buff shade under my lash line. I don't wanna do a lot. I'm going to take a tiny bit of glimmer in the inner corner just to brighten everything up. I was just like one dab in. And then I'm just gonna take my mascara, put a light coat. I'm using the L'Oreal Air Volume 
Mega Mascara. And I pretty much already got some on my lower lashes because I got mascara in my eyeball. We don't need to do too much work because I already accidentally did it. To finish off the face, I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> airbrush powder. I'm using up this baby size, okay guys? It works. And I'm just taking a little bit underneath my eye. A working mirror. Just hopefully to clean up my under eye a little bit more. I do have some fallout. Next time I do my eyes first, I usually do. I was just thinking I'm not doing too heavy of a makeup look. And then to set my whole face, I'm using the HNB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. And I have O2 Translucent Hourglass Brush. And this has a little bit of a sheen to it. I'm just going to lightly set my whole face. Kind of like how my skin is looking right now. So I don't even feel like I need to set. But that's kind of when I use this powder because it has like a skin-like finish. Nothing too matte. Just looks like healthy skin, this powder. I don't like it under my eyes though. Hence why I used uh, the one size one and the baby Charlotte Tilbury. We are nearing the end. We still have a few more Vive products to try, but I'm going to lightly bronze my face. I have the base down for my cream bronzer, but I do like to just lightly go over with some Give Me Sun. And this is a Smith 154 brush. It's one of my favorite bronzing brushes of all time. And then I'm gonna lightly contour my nose with my Dior palette. How long has that been there? Hopefully not long. BH Nazanin Kavari number three. Love this brush. And the Patrick Ta She's So LA. Finally got my hands on this going to use the cream which I have been loving it's like the perfect shade ever for me he suggests doing powder first then the cream I still do it the other way around I just like it better it's like my perfect color of cheek and this gives a little bit of a glow so I honestly have been mainly just using the cream not even the powder but I'm going to do a light dusting to set it. My handcuff just wants to arrest me today. I have a little bit left in the cap from my one size powder. I'm just going to put it right here because I noticed my pores and I don't want them. We are now on to highlight and I have the Vive Nova Glow Highlighter in Holy Chic. I can't show you this but I can show you a picture because this came shattered. And I honestly was not surprised something did come broken because this is gonna be hard to show you because my address is everywhere on here. Do you guys see an issue with this for international shipping? Because I do. I feel like it's way too thin. I am honestly surprised that the eyeshadow palette did not come broken too. Like I'm shocked that it was just the highlighter. As soon as I saw people getting their packages in the mail, I'm like, oh no. Like I hope they didn't send that internationally and they did. So that is one thing I would love for the company to change is the packaging they use because I understand wanting to use less and be sustainable, but other companies have done that, but also made it secure as well. So I just feel like their shipping materials need to be better because I can't even show you this because it's broken, but it honestly worked out because I was able to see what their customer service is like. So I did contact them and let them know about the issue and within 24 hours they got back to me and already had sent me out another highlighter. So the customer service is fantastic and I just wanted to mention that here. Things are gonna happen, products are gonna be broken, but at the end of the day, the customer service was amazing. They wanted to see the shipping box, so I sent them a picture because it wasn't damaged at all. I just honestly feel they need to change it. So this highlighter is a little bit thicker of a formula and I could tell that because I had to repress it into the pan just so I could use it for this video and it does have glitter in it. So for me personally, it's not my favorite formula of a highlight. It is pretty though. I love the tone of it. Just for me on my skin, like Jamie has perfect skin. For me on my skin, my skin isn't perfect. It just looks a little texturizing on my skin. But the packaging is beautiful on this. Just from my experience alone, I would personally skip on the highlight 
But if you ever have an issue, their company resolved it quickly and was amazing. So I'm very happy with that. You know, things happen and they dealt with it accordingly, I feel. So what are your thoughts on how the highlighter looks on my skin? You guys have seen highlighters on my skin. Do you like this one? Do you like glitter in your highlight? What do you like? <laughs> and these are the products I would have honestly loved to have seen a swatch video prior to the launch because I would have picked up more <laughs> lip pencils. So I went with Velvet Sands, which was, I believe the lightest shade they carry, but I would have honestly purchased Bark having seen the colors. It was really early in the morning. I was just blind buying. I messaged my friend Stephanie from Babs Beauty. I'm like, it's up, we gotta get on it. She hadn't even bought it yet. It was like seven o'clock in the morning. The light highlighter was already sold out. So we both got the medium one. And this is a pretty color. This would be an all over lip color for me, which maybe I should do. To get the kind of lip that I feel Jamie does all the time, which I really like, Bark would have been the way to go for me. So I wish I would have got Bark Lip Pencil. This is very creamy, not overly creamy though. And I love this for an all over lip color. I just want something deeper as a lip liner, but I love this color. I'm very happy with this lip pencil color. Glad I got it. As I said, I would have bought more though. So I would have liked to have seen that swatch video up prior to purchase. And then we have her Modern Matte Lipstick. Unicarton and packaging on all this is just beautiful. Black and gold, sign me up. And here is the packaging. Everyone has been pointing out how it looks like Tom Ford, which I do have. Tom Ford is slightly heavier and has a smooth finish to it. Both are embossed on the top with the initial. This has the texture. I like the texture of this one with the weight of this one. That'd be ideal. <laughs> so these do feel luxe, all her packaging does. It has the Vive embossed in the lipstick, if you can see that. And I got the shade Vive, which was the lightest and looked the most cool. There was a lot of warm tones, which don't look good on me for lips. I do much prefer neutral to cool on my lips. So let's see how this looks. Definitely a Cheryl color if I've ever seen one. So I'm very happy with the lipstick purchase as well. You guys know I love my light tones, but I would like to add a little bit more definition. I'm gonna get MAC Cork. I feel that will work. Loving the texture of the lipstick. It is like a creamy matte, but I wanted just a little bit more definition to the lips. So I just used a little bit of cork from MAC for that. But next time I'll definitely be buying Bark from her. It's just powder products I'm gonna be concerned about unless they change their shipping packaging for international especially. I think for everyone in general, cause that's very thin. Then to set everything on my face, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Mist that came in a kit from Sephora. This apparently has a different smell to it. It's like broken. Yes, it doesn't sound right. Something's wrong with this. This keeps popping off. It's just like a mess over here. So let's just finish off this video on that note. Here is the completed makeup look using all, what am I doing? Shooter McGavin, little guns in the air. Like, geez, how do you guys like it? Do you like how it turned out? I love how it turned out. There were a couple products that weren't my favorite, like the Vive highlighter. I just feel like it's slightly, texture emphasizing though i do find after putting this broken mist on my face that it kind of melted it in a little bit better on my skin did you notice a change because i feel like i did i feel like that really helped kind of blend it into my skin a little bit better to not be so texture texturizing because it is a thicker powder formula in my opinion these lashes have stuck on nicely like they feel like they're on my eyes well so i'm going to test them out throughout the day hopefully i don't get any kind of eye line irritation because i am quite sensitive along my lash line if these water activated ones don't do that it's going to be such a great alternative to glue for me but can you only wear these once that's my question how many times can you activate these <laughs> so i'm going to have to continue to test these out to see but all in all very great experience complexion looks nice love how the eyes turned out a very light eye but this is totally something that i'd wear on the daily the lip combo is really pretty and i'm just I don't know, I really love the makeup and how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trying new makeup, maybe find some new products, combinations, 
things you want to test out. Let me know what your favorite product was from this trying new makeup. I'd love to know what caught your eye in the comment section below. And also let me know if you've tried anything. I'd love to know your opinion as well. So thank you guys as always so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. I'd love for you to stay. Like half of you aren't subscribed, so please subscribe and hit that bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. I would love for you to watch all my videos and be here every day that I upload. I've been trying to do two times a week. Have you guys noticed? I've been trying to upload more. So I hope you guys enjoy more uploads. This is it for the video. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.